Welcome to the Principles and Practice of Surveying Q&A question number four. I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman. I passed this exam many years ago, and I know you can pass it too. The call of the question states, the owner of a quarter section of land sold several lots over a period of many years using meets and bounds descriptions. Using a meets and bound description inside a PLSS section is a horrible idea. Each time a lot was sold, a survey was performed. Now, 10 years after the last lot was sold, the owners of several lots dispute the true location of their property lines. You have been engaged by all the parties to resolve the boundary dispute once and for all. After plotting everyone's deeds, you come up with the attached map. The question is, what is the true location of D's line? So what is the true location of Delta's line? We begin by finding the quarter quarter sections. And we have those, those are the triangles. And believe it or not, there are four quarter quarter sections. That never happens, but it happened here. Next, we have three different property owners in addition to the original owner. We've got Bravo, in 1985, Charlie in 1972, and Delta in 1991. We've got some serious, serious problems here because first of all, Charlie and Bravo have a huge overlap, several hundred feet from the south and several hundred feet going east. Well, we don't really care about that, do we? That's a red herring. And that is meant to distract you because all we care about is the boundary between Bravo and Delta. So let's check this out. Bravo bought in 1985 and Delta bought in 1991. This guy is a sequential conveyance. Let's talk about those in a few moments, but let's just recognize there is a pretty good overlap between Bravo's and Delta's calls. But why is that? Well, it's because look at the true distance of the quarter section. Any quarter section is supposed to be one quarter mile square. But instead of 1320 east and 1320 west, it's actually 220 feet short on the south line and 230 feet short heading west. So we've got some serious problems. But luckily, you as a surveyor using the principles of boundary retracements can solve this sucker no problem. Let's also recognize that this is an AIT or an alternative question type. In an AIT, you will use the computer mouse and you will select the true boundary of delta. And as you click these different shapes, the computer will recognize that and highlight them for the answer. So in the true exam, you will not be given question choices A through D. You will be given a map and you'll click on the map and determine the boundary. But in this case, I'm going to ask you four possible choices and you're going to have to choose one of the four. So what are our four possibilities? One, reestablish the quarter section by double proportion and then make D's boundary the southeast quarter of the southwest quarter. B, survey D's property and B's property. Hold the 1985 monuments and award the overlap to B. Third, reestablish the quarter section by double proportion. Then measure 640 feet north and 640 feet west from the southwest quarter corner of the section corner. And finally, four, survey D's property and B's property. Hold both sets of monuments, but award the overlap between B and D to B. So we have some possible answer choices. Let's do a little bit of learning. Parcels are considered sequential conveyances when they are transferred at different points in time. Is this the case here? Yes. Bravo took in 7085, Charlie took in 72, Delta took in 91. When this happens, if the parcels are sequentially conveyed, which they were, they are subject to junior senior rights. 
What is junior senior rights? Junior senior rights is a theory that says first in time, first in right. If you have a boundary between a parcel from 1900 and 1950, the person in 1900 will get the overlap and the person from 1950 will get Zippo. Why is that? That's because the parcel from 1900 took before the one from 1950. So the parcel that is newer does not get the overlap if there is an overlap. The older parcel is senior to the newer parcel, and therefore the older parcel gets the overlap. You upsize your food, so why not upsize your study materials? The NLC Combo has everything you need to pass the FS, PS, or Texas RPLS exams. Combos include a full-length hard copy exam book, a pre-programmed HP 35 calculator, and a fully online prep course that includes a full-length practice exam. That's two full exams that cover every topic you'll face on test day. Upsize to a combo and upsize your future career today. Let's try an example and I'll show you why this matters. Papa buys from Alpha in 1950 the westerly 50 feet of lot A. Whiskey buys from Alpha in 1960 the easterly 50 feet of lot A. Well, if this parcel was 100 feet, you measure the west 50, then you measure the east 50, and they meet right in the middle. But let me add a wrinkle into this scenario. You survey this property, all of lot A, in 2017, and you come to the conclusion that this lot is actually only 96 feet wide. So you measure west 50, then you measure east 50, and there is a four foot overlap between the two lots from Papa and Whiskey. The first thing you should think is, holy crap, this is, I should have charged more for this job, there's gonna be some pissed off neighbors. But then you remember your proverb, first in time, first in right. So what do you do? Do you give two feet to Papa and two feet to Whiskey? No you give the entire four foot overlap to Papa because Papa gets the entire 50 feet. And what does Whiskey get? He gets whatever's left over. So if there is only 96 feet to give and we subtract 50 feet, then there is only 46 feet left to give Whiskey. Whiskey says, I want what's in my deed. Well, you tell him to hire a lawyer because he's not getting Jack from you. Why do we have junior senior rights? Well, there are lots of reasons. Deeds are poorly written. People convey what they don't own. And most importantly, parcels contain less land than the owners thought they did. So did Alpha think he actually owned a lot of 100 foot wide? Yeah, probably. We're not gonna say he's a liar. But when you surveyed it, you only found 96 feet, not 100. So when you convey this land, what should you do? Well, first of all, keep Papa's deed. So Papa, westerly feet of lot A, good. But when Alpha goes to convey to Whiskey, what should Alpha convey? Alpha should convey the entirety of lot A, less in accepting the westerly 50 feet as referenced in Papa's 1950 deed. What did we do right there? We just referenced a senior deed and we put the new owner on notice that he is junior in title. We also eliminated our overlap problem because Whiskey gets wh whatever the owner alpha actually owns. Just because we have a senior parcel, we want to make sure we tell all the junior parcels about the senior one. So again, Whiskey's deed should read the entirety of lot A less in accepting the westerly 50 feet as referenced in Papa's 1950 deed. Choose your answer. My answer is going to be B. Survey D's property and B's property. Hold the 1985 monuments and award the overlap. To B. 
Now let's go back and let's go through each of these answer choices and I'm going to tell you why I did not choose the others. I did not choose A because there's really no need to reestablish the quarter section. Now, if you were a government surveyor and you wanted to do this, that's fine. But we already have a set of 1985 monuments. Why not hold the monuments? C. That is my same logic. I don't want to reestablish the quarter section, and I certainly don't want to stub it in by going north 640 and west 640. And finally, D. Why would I give the excess or deficiency to be first in time, first in right? But it's, it is factually impossible to hold both sets of monuments for both Bravo and Delta. So answer choice D looks okay to start with, but we really can't hold both sets of monuments. Therefore, I'm going to choose B survey D's property and B's property. Hold the 1985 monuments and award the overlap to B. Would you like even more great content on the principles and practice exam? Please join me at NLC prep slash PS for a full length, completely up to date PS prep course, where we go over every major PS topic in gory detail, and we teach you all the essentials you need to know to pass the PS exam on the first try. Join me at nlcprep.com PS.